Thank all of you uh, know Ted Hunter, the uh, head of uh, Drug Enforcement Administration uh, for uh, this area. Uh, what you see behind both of us is uh, a seizure that probably uh, is larger than any seizure that has ever been made in uh, the history of California and probably uh, the, the West Coast. Uh, uh, this is uh, over 1,700 pounds of cocaine with a purity of uh, perhaps as high as 90 percent. Uh, also, you see a stack of money here, uh, three quarters of a million dollars. Uh, this investigation uh, is an investigation that uh, uh, was done in cooperation with DEA and the Los Angeles Police Department. This, uh, Eleven people were arrested, uh, most of them Colombians. The investigation centered in the Orange County area, and uh, we were assisted by the Orange County Sheriff's Department, uh, District Attorney's Office, uh, Fullerton Police Department, and Placentia. Uh, this is an indication of the growing narcotic problem, particularly cocaine, uh, in the Southern California area. In the last nine days in this uh, area, uh, over there's about 5,000 pounds, Ted. Uh, about 5,000 pounds of cocaine has been seized by uh, various law enforcement entities. Uh, uh, you saw the 2,500 uh, pounds that was uh, recovered in Tijuana, and in my judgment, uh, suggests that uh, there has been a tremendous shift uh, of the flow of narcotics coming in now to the Southern California area rather than uh, the heavy concentration that we found in the uh, Florida area and the Gulf states. Ted, uh, what would you like to? Well, it, as the chief indicated, this matches in the sense of the last five seizures in Southern California, roughly 2,500 pounds in Southern California, roughly in the Central District of California, is almost uh, half or the same figure of what was seized in Tijuana. That load, we feel, was also destined for Southern California, primarily in the Los Angeles area. So as stated, we're dealing with approximately 5,000 pounds 2.2 tons of cocaine seized. That is caused by one factor, the demand for cocaine in Southern California. Often asked uh, the effectiveness of law enforcement. Law enforcement is doing a tremendous job. If we're going to be effective, though, I would, I would add that uh, we've got to do something uh, about this demand situation. And you cannot expect law enforcement, be it federal or local, to do the job in its entirety, but we've got to get serious, all of us, about why this is here and tend to that uh, side of the house. What needs to be done? What else do you need to fight this? One of the things that uh, I'm wearing here is a DARE oh, pin, man, Drug on. Abuse Resistance Education. Uh, we have it in a few of the schools in Los Angeles. We hope to have it in all of the elementary schools very soon, but that's what has to be done. We have to teach our kids that, that dope is bad. Uh, that uh, when they grow into adulthood, uh, if they do, that they ought not to continue on uh, using dope. And we ought to convince the adults uh, in this uh, society of ours that uh, dope is bad. Uh, it's killing America. Uh, this is really a toxic waste. We keep uh, complaining about toxic waste all over the, uh, of the nation. Uh, this is it. And nobody complains about this because they pay for it and they pay high prices. Uh, witness the money that uh, you see here. Uh, America is sick when it comes to dope, and uh, we don't do anything about it. Uh, they leave it to law enforcement. I have people, and Ted has people, that go out and risk their lives every single day, and they and literally risk their lives in attempting to interdict this flow of narcotics into this country. And I think, uh, as Ted said, law enforcement is doing their job. People of the United States ought to do their job to stop using this stuff. Chief, how is this call linked to the one in Tijuana? Well, uh, we're not going to talk about the investigation at all. Uh, unfortunately, we can't. Uh, two things that bothers me, uh, one, we can't talk about it uh, uh, because of the uh, sensitivity of it and, uh, quite frankly, the danger to some of our officers. Uh, the other thing that bothers me is that uh, I can't bring before you uh, uh, some of the officers uh, who were involved in this. To me, they're heroes. Uh, they work uh, incredible hours, uh, they work under uh, unbearable conditions, and they do it 
to save uh, uh, kids and to save uh, people from themselves in this country. And I'd like to bring them all forward, but they can't and they won't uh, because it uh, would place them in jeopardy and uh, they know it and, and that bothers me uh, greatly. Chief, how does this compare to drug busts on a national level? This is, as you say, is largest, maybe the largest in California history. What about on a national level? Ted, maybe you can... Uh, more seizures are made in, in Miami. Uh, that's changing rapidly. I'd say if you looked at it in the last couple of months, uh, Los Angeles, Southern California is fast closing the gap on the level of seizures. But to this point in time, uh, this is a very significant seizure, no matter it be in Miami or in the Caribbean or Southern California. Uh, this, is, this is astronomical. And uh, as I say, it's here because of an economic demand, obviously, and those would not bring it here and invest uh, mm -hmm. their time and effort were it not for that. Uh, there have been larger seizures elsewhere in the United States, mainly because that's the first point of entry into the United States. The significance of this is the long logistical line from what it came in South, uh, South America, Colombia. Um, at the rate we're going, I, uh, I'm afraid to say that we'll experience more of this. And uh, I don't know where the trend stops unless we get a bit more serious in the workplace, in industry, uh, and doing something to detour the reason this stuff is here. How much of it do you relate to a severe crackdowns in Miami, per se? are clearly identified as the marketplace. Chief, what do you see as the immediate results of this arrest, these arrests and the seizures? I was told 11, uh, uh, I don't even want to say that. It says four juveniles were found at the locations. Were they involved in the uh, questioning? Well, they're involved by the fact that their parents uh, have no more concern for them to, than to involve them in it. Uh, uh, you know, these, uh, these people that come in here with the bringing this dope, uh, these are enemies. Uh, they're not just uh, criminals, they're enemies of the United States. Uh, my view also is that, that countries that continue to export this stuff uh, are, not, uh, are not friendly nations at all. I think they're uh, enemy nations. Uh, we worry about those who have missiles poised uh, on their borders uh, aimed at the United States, but uh, we don't do anything about the poison missiles that uh, they're sending into the United States uh, by so-called friendly countries. That's not... Uh, mm -hmm. to any other area?